Hey everybody! So today I wanted to share with you what is Google Chrome and how do I install it on my Windows 10 computer. Well, Google Chrome is a web browser that was developed by Google. Now it starts back in the early 2000s when Google was trying to decide whether or not they wanted to get into the web browser wars because everybody seemed to have a web browser that they were releasing and so they didn't know if they wanted to get into that market because back then Google was not as big as it is today but they had a couple of Firefox employees that they hired to see if they could make their own web browser and it looked very successful so they poured more money and more resources into it and they made their own beta browser available on September 2nd of 2008 and then they released version 1 of Google Chrome on December 11th of 2008 and you could run that on Windows XP and newer machines now the reason that Chrome the word Chrome was used for the web browser is because it originally referred to speed and fast cars but they kept the name because it referred to their minimalistic user interface and how quick it was to load up. Now today we have Google Chrome available for everything you could think of for Windows, Linux, Mac OS, an iOS device, an Android device. So pretty much every single device that's out there can run Google Chrome and it can even handle extensions. Now extensions just allow for Google Chrome to do even more. You can make it where you can save a picture as different types. A PNG file, a JPEG file, you can even save pictures as PDFs if you wanted to. But they can also do other things. They can let you save money on different products that you want to purchase on the internet because it'll look around and see if there's another product that's exactly like you're looking for and it would be cheaper so all kinds of extensions that you can get for Google Chrome they would do lots of different things but they didn't actually put Chrome extensions in until September 9th of 2009 so they went almost a full year until they allowed for Google Chrome extensions because they wanted to make sure that they got the browser working without any extensions and they didn't even release a Mac or Linux version until the following year and then Google Chrome is also based off of Chromium and Chromium is their open source and free web browser that they release for all the OS's as well so I wanted to also show you how you can install Google Chrome on your Windows 10 computer so let's go over now and I'll show you all the steps you have to take in order to get Google Chrome installed on your computer and because it runs so quick it won't take us very long to install it and to run it. Okay, so I have my Windows 10 computer turned on and booted up to the desktop where I can see the desktop and the start menu bar at the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Microsoft Edge, which is right here. But if yours doesn't show up right there, just click on Start, and then scroll down on the list of programs, and there's Microsoft Edge, and you can go ahead and click on it. Now once Microsoft Edge opens up, up here at the top, we're going to type in www.google.com dot com forward slash chrome and we're going to press enter now here this is the google home page and if you'll notice there's a button that we can download chrome now before you click on download chrome you can choose whether or not you want to make google better by automatically sending usage statistics and crash reports to google if you do, you can go ahead and leave that on, or you can turn it off. I'm just going to leave it on and go ahead and click on Download Chrome. Now, it starts downloading in this top right corner up here. And as soon as it finishes, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on this folder, which opens up the Downloads folder. 
Now, if for any reason your downloads folder does not show up, just come down here to the bottom and click on File Explorer and then click on Downloads right here. And then you'll see right here, there's the Chrome setup. So we're going to right click on it and we're going to go ahead and run as administrator. Now, if it gives you this prompt and says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? And it's the Google Chrome installer. You want to click on yes, because it will allow Google Chrome to install all the files that it needs for the program to run and not give you any errors. Now it does take a few seconds to download and install, but then after it's done, I'll show you Google Chrome and we'll be up and running with a new web browser. Okay, so after Google Chrome is installed, it gives you this option to either sign in or don't sign in. Now, if you sign in, what it will do is it will allow all of your devices to be synchronized so that if you stop working on one computer and you go to the other one, as long as it's signed into the same account, you can pick right back up where you left off. And then it also can keep all your passwords secure because it'll save those passwords and you'll also have them available on the other computer. And then it also keeps your bookmarks and your passwords and even more information synced so that everything is the same between the two computers. Well, at the moment, I'm not going to sign in, so I'm going to click Don't Sign In. But if you want to, you can click Sign In and just put in your Google account, and that'll keep everything synced between the two computers. Or maybe you have multiple devices, but it'll keep it synced between all those devices. But for the moment, I'm going to click Don't Sign In. Now here, it wants to know, do you want for Google Chrome to be your default browser? Well, I like Google Chrome, so I'm going to go ahead and click Set as Default. And then here is Google Chrome. Now you may get this pop-up the very first time that you open it that says Enhanced Ad Privacy in Chrome. It says we're launching new privacy features that give you more control and choice over the ads you see. Chrome notes topics of interest based on recent browsing history. Also, sites you visit can determine what you like. Later, sites can ask for this information to show you personalized ads. You can choose which topics and sites are used to show you ads. So you can go through that and change it if you want to. I'm just going to click on got it, but that was good to know. And here is Google Chrome. So if I just type in something like YouTube.com, and go to that website, it's going to load very quickly. They said in test that Google Chrome most of the time loads quicker than any other browser. Now, of course, it depends on which computer you're using, which operating system you're using, and how loaded down that computer is with information. But in a brand new test where they're comparing the same computers, Google Chrome wins almost all the time because it's so lightweight and they keep everything very minimalistic, it runs very smoothly. So I hope that was helpful on what is Google Chrome and how do I install it on my Windows 10 computer. If you do have any questions about any of this, please let me know down below in the comment section and I will do my best to get back to you. And if there's a video that you would like for me to create for you, please let me know that down below in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to create that video for you. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like what is Google Chrome and how do I install it on my Windows 10 computer? And I'll be glad to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.